Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. Today's video is going to be a video of me talking about my ultimate November wish list. These are the things that I have been really, really super wanting to buy this month, but I've sort of been holding off because I've been waiting for the Black Friday sales and my birthday is going to be at the end of this month. So I thought it would be only fitting to create a wish list video for my birthday because chances are I'll probably end up buying a lot of these things for me to spoil myself. Anyway. So if you guys want to see what I have on my November wish list, then just keep on watching. Now I'm probably going to start this video off by being really super cliche, but I really, really want to get my hands on the James Charles Sister Palette. The Artistry Palette by Sister James Charles. And it sold out so quickly and I didn't get my hands on it and I was just like... I was actually there when it was available on the website and I didn't jump on it. And I don't know why I didn't. I just, it sold out and now it's sold out and I don't know when it's coming back. But I've got it on my email notifications that if it comes back in stock, hopefully it'll come back in stock in time for my birthday or at a time where I'm actually awake because the American time doesn't really coincide very well with my Australian time. Does it make sense? But yeah, anyway, that's first off on my November wish list. So chances are if when it comes back, online and I actually am in time to buy it, then I will buy that artistry palette because it's so full of beautiful colors. Back in the day, the Morphe 35B, I think it's still here, I think I still have it. This Morphe 35B, this one is no longer available, but I use this for so many colorful eyeshadow looks. And because this is no longer available and because this palette is actually kind of old now, the pigments aren't as great as they used to be. I kind of feel like they dried up a little bit and I really, really want to get my hands on that James Charles palette because the colors are so beautiful and I love colorful eyeshadow. If you guys have been on my channel and you haven't realized that by now, then who are you? <laughs> the next thing on my wish list is L'Occitane skincare. In my Bella box a month ago, I got this little L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum and this one, guys, works absolute wonders. This one probably lasted me about a week. There's still a tiny little bit at the bottom of the bottle, but I can't really get it out. Like, I can't really scrape it out, and I feel like it is such a waste because this stuff is amazing. You can see an overnight result on your skin. In the morning, it's left looking plump and revitalized, and this one smells so good, guys. Like, it's not a sick fragrance kind of smell. It just smells so healthy and nice. I don't know. I can't explain. I cannot explain. It just smells really, really good. So I think I want to get a full size of this one. A 30 ml for this Immortal Reset Serum by L'Occitane is $90. So I know it's a little bit pricey, but when I know that it can work such wonders on your skin, like you'd be happy to spend the $90 on that little 30 ml bottle of serum because it is, it's just amazing. I was so surprised. You know how usually when you tr start trying out a new product, you're like, oh, it's gonna take a few days before this one starts working for me. No, the first time I used this overnight, my skin was beautiful and clear and bright and smooth and it smells amazing. So that's the next thing on my wish list. Another thing on my wish list is the L'Occitane Advent Gift Calendars. I don't know guys, I'm so into skincare right now because I do see that no matter the amount of makeup that you put on your face to cover up imperfection, it's all futile if you don't take care of your skin. The makeup that you put on top is only as good as the skin underneath. I don't mean to sound insensitive, I know that a lot of people out there struggle with skin problems and acne and all that sort of thing. And so I'm only speaking this from my perspective, but I, I've just been really into skincare. I want to get the L'Occitane Advent Calendars because I know it's full of skincare and their products are amazing. I love their almond oil shower gel and I really only use that when I'm feeling extra luxurious because that stuff's expensive too. Everything in Lux is so expensive, but... Yeah, that's why it's on my wish list and not my already bought list. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> The next thing on my list is also skincare, Kedma skincare. If you guys haven't seen that video of me reviewing the $1,200 gold face mask, then definitely watch that video. Why is it dark? 
then definitely go watch that video. I will leave it linked up here in the description box down below. But I have bought a few things from Kedma. This one is a repurchase of mine. This one is the pomegranate facial peel and a restoring day cream. They have recently repackaged like this one says Jericho Premium and this one says Kedma, but it's basically the same company, the same brand. They just rebranded because people were doing rip-offs of the Jericho Cosmetics products which is why they completely rebranded and called themselves Kedma and got new packaging and stuff, but it's still exactly the same product. Um, what's my point in all this? I didn't have a point in all this. Anyway, what I'm saying is I would love to get any Kedma Cosmetics products for my birthday. It would be, oh, it would be so good. Those products are so expensive, man. Like, so expensive. And if anyone gave them to me as a gift, I would be absolutely wrapped. I specifically want to try the Kedma Cosmetics Intensive Night Cream. This one is a restoring day cream. Most of you are probably saying, what? What's the difference? Just use one cream, girl. Well, there is a difference. I think one's a day, one's day, one's night. <laughs> The spelling's different. The next thing I really, really want to buy, and I probably will end up purchasing this, is the Bretman Rock and ColourPop collection. I'm so into this collection, guys. Like, probably not just because of the fact that he's Filipino and I'm Filipino. I'm so proud of him that one of our people has reached such a great achievement, and he's such a character. He always makes me laugh. My, my husband's always like, whenever I'm watching Bretman's videos, my husband's like, What are you watching? But I'm just like, he's very funny! <laughs> I, just, I just really enjoy watching Bretman's videos. It gives me some downtime from being an adult. Does that make sense? Like, I, I know Bretman is a fully grown adult making probably millions of dollars a year. But what I'm saying is that he's so fun and lighthearted and I love his videos. So that's probably why I really want to get this ColourPop collection. And I really, really want to try the glitter pots that is in the collection. Everything in that collection looks so good and like I've mentioned so many times before on my channel, I can't just get one thing in a collection. I kind of like have to get a whole collection if that makes sense. I don't do anything by halves and that includes buying collections of makeup. That's probably to my detriment and to my bank account's detriment but yeah. Another thing I am waiting to grab is the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 eyeshadow palette. I actually have that eyeshadow palette up on my browser right now along with a lot of whole heap of other tabs. With my card, the things in them to buy once the sales drop for Black Friday. <laughs> But yeah, I have the Juvia's Place Afrique and Warrior in my eyesight. I'm waiting for the Warrior 2 to come back in stock so I can grab it along with the Afrique collection by Juvia's Place. And if I get those two palettes, then it'll complete my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette collection. <laughs> like I said, collections is my thing. I like to collect makeup, I enjoy using makeup, playing with makeup, and now I can justify it because it's for my channel. <laughs> That sounds absolutely ridiculous, but that's that's what's on my mind right now, okay? I also want to buy the Juvia's Place highlighters. I can't wait for Juvia's Place press highlighters to drop. I'm probably more into press highlighters than the loose ones, but if Juvia's Place Instagram photos with their highlights are any indication, and the pigments of their eyeshadow palettes are any indication, then their highlights are gonna be bomb, man. Their highlights are gonna be the best. Like. Wearing Juvia's Place highlighters, which is why I want to try their bundle. Like they have a bundle of their four highlighters. I really want to buy that too. Oh, I probably don't need them, but the idea actually of loose highlighters is actually quite appealing to me because I have really been into applying highlighter on the skin now. Just imagine in the summer when you're wearing a tank top or some short shorts, just put a bit of lotion on your legs and then go over it with some highlighter like over on the decolletage and the arms. Oh, I wanna glow to the gods. That would be awesome. So that's that's why I wanna buy the Juvia's Place highlighters, the loose highlighters and the press ones if they come out with the press ones in time for the sales. Another palette that I wanna buy is the Natasha Denona Gold palette. That one's just a new one that Natasha Denona has released. And the shadows in it are so beautiful. It's got this beautiful green eyeshadow in there, a really deep forest green in there that I wanna try. I know I don't wear green a lot in my eyeshadow looks, but that green makes me want to wear it. 
It really does. I have got the Natasha Denona Lila palette and the Sunset palette and the Star palette. So I've got three Natasha Denona palettes and just the way that these eyeshadows blend, like this is this palette is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Just the way that these eyeshadows blend are so smooth, it's so beautiful, but they're so pretty expensive. Which is probably why this Natasha Denona gold palette isn't something that I will be purchasing, unfortunately, because my bank account has a limit. Another thing I really, really, really want to buy are Briogeo hair care sets. I have the Superfoods hair care pack and the Don't Despair Repair shampoo and leave-in mask and those things are amazing. Like they make my hair feel so good. My hair feels so healthy and clean and refreshed afterwards and it doesn't smell bad. I know Briogeo doesn't have fragrances in their products like they're the six free, sulfate free, preservative free, paraben free. Like it's a really, really good ingredient list that they have going on there and I can really feel it in my hair. So I really want to get in on their holiday collection because they're just so cute and pretty. And I have mentioned them in my video where I'm talking about things that you need to get in on like gifts for a makeup lover and this, this video is very somewhat related to that video because nearly everything I'm mentioning in that video are things that I really want as well. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know what my point is mentioning that about. Gonna, gonna move on. Also if you've been on my channel for a little while then you'll know that I absolutely love Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. I'm wearing Havana Nights on my lips today and then I just ombre it with the Juvia's Place Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soil. But the base, the darker part of it is the Havana Nights Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics. And I want every single shade that I don't already have. Which is a few because I know that Ofra has a full range of 60 lipstick colors and I probably have about 20 of them and they're all in the old packaging and the OCD in me says I need every single one of those colors in the collection. I know I don't need them but the ones that I have my eye on are Miami Fever, Nude Potion, Manila, uh, maybe not so much the color of Manila. Well, the color is appealing to me as well, but Manila is where my parents are from originally, so I kind of want that lipstick as well. Um, Unzipped, Venice, and Cenibel. Those are the lipsticks that I have my eye on to buy. There's so many Ofra lipsticks that I want to get. I really should have stocked up on Singles Day. I don't know what that was, but it was. I think it was just one day of sales on the Ofra Cosmetics website where their lipsticks were $11 instead of $20, but I don't know why I let that boat sail too. I think it's because I didn't I hadn't gotten paid yet. <laughs> I had no money. <laughs> like being a small YouTuber starting out, I know I could very well use this video as a launch pad for Amazon affiliate links, like all the products that I mentioned in this video, then leave Amazon links for it down below. But I'm gonna be like 110% real with you guys that Amazon absolutely sucks. I shouldn't say that. Amazon absolutely sucks when it comes to makeup products. I mean, let's be real here. If you look up any makeup product on Amazon, it's probably either old stock, fake, counterfeited, um, really super overpriced when you could just buy the same product straight off the website of the actual brand. Amazon just sucks when trying to find anything in the makeup niche. It's so much more efficient and wise to buy makeup products straight from the brand itself or people that they retail through. And then in doing that, you have the advantage of also being able to use influencers' codes or make the most of these brand sales. And in doing that as well, you're not running the risk of buying a mediocre product overpriced and their chances are it could even be a ripoff of fake. So as much as I would love to make money off affiliate links because that's just what YouTube is these days, like trying to make a little bit of money, like get a little bit of return on all the hard work that we do on here, like no shade to Amazon but low key shade. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it 100% real here. Like I've said in my description, if there are, are any affiliate links, I will leave an asterisk next to them so you know they are affiliate links. And if you wanna support me by clicking that link and purchasing any products through those links, then it would really mean the world to me. But I'm gonna keep it 100% real here on my channel. If there's any products that I mentioned and there's an Amazon link to it and the product itself is overpriced or fake, or you could just buy for a much better price, the website itself, then you know I'm not gonna leave that link there for you guys because it's not 
where I would buy the makeup product from myself. So yeah, I'm just keeping it real, you know? So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. These are the things that I have on my November wish list. I probably will end up purchasing a few of these things that I mentioned in this video today, simply because it's my birthday and I wanna spoil myself. And that's probably a good enough reason, isn't it? <laughs> these are the things I tell myself anyway, and I will use it for my channel as well. So I'm justifying spending all this money on this makeup. Yeah. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so turn on the notification bell if you do not want to miss any of my future uploads. I am also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so if you want to follow me on any of those, it is Life as Ikai, the same across the board. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate it that you've spent your time here with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.